am Nunez. Today I'm at East Fork Lake and it's Saturday the 17th. It's about 28 degrees and we're going to do the East Fork Beach Trail. It's five miles, 321 feet of elevation gain. The trails we're going to do, oopsie, are Intermediate Trail, Technical Trail, Lake Trail, and Beach Trail. That's part of this loop trail. Just in case, I have these that go over my shoes. The ice on my car is making this go down. Um, and I'm wearing four shirts, two pair of pants, two pair of socks. I'm prepared. Two bottles of water and um, two protein bars. So people are coming. We are off, so see you soon. Now we have to find which trail. I actually went to do this sometime, the Steve Newman World Walker Perimeter Trail. I believe that's 30 miles, but I don't think that's where we want to be. There's so many trails here. This is part of the Buckeye Trail. No horses on this one. Very difficult. Don't know which one this is. It's a little shed back there. Well, I'm not sure where I'm going, so I'll pull up all trails. We'll figure it out. I'm thinking I need to go down this road and cross the street because all trail says I'm still on the trail. But I wasn't when I did the Steve Newman perimeter trail when I started on that. So if I can't find my way, there's a two mile trail I may do and just turn around and come back the other way. So at least we get a hike in still. It may not be the hike we intended on doing, but sometimes we just need to alter things. Today, I was supposed to go to Clifty Falls in Indiana with a friend and her husband, but they couldn't come. So I decided not to do that one on my own because it's supposedly kind of a challenging tra um, trail in this weather. I didn't feel comfortable. So this one, elevation isn't very high. I feel comfortable here. So this is part of the Steve Newman Trail. So let's see if this is it. I see, I noticed when I pulled in here, I saw footprints, so people were hiking it. So it probably is. I like, you know, according to all trails, this is it. There's nothing that marks the trail. On the other side, it just said like blue trail, yellow trail, green trail, whatever trail white trail I don't know um there were no footprints in the snow there are here and according to the all trails map I'm right so I'm going to turn the camera off to conserve power so I'll let you know if I see anything good or if I end up turning around and going home well that's cool it says overnight to the left, which is that way, to the left. I need to look at all trails, and I guess we're going this way. Because I don't want to be here overnight. Okay, wrong way, turning around. All trail says I'm going off trail. So, apparently, I was supposed to go the overnight way. It appears this is our second creek crossing. Yeah, we cross here, 
as long as we're still on trail. Now we're on the red black trail. This one is marked much better than the green one. So if you cross the road and go the way we went, you go green, red, black. Here's the shelter for overnight. I could do this without a tent. Broom and a dustpan. Yeah. When I decided to do this, my fear was mice. I thought there's no way in Hades I want to stay in a shelter. And now I'm thinking I would like to cowboy camp some night. So I'm, I've come a long way. We just crossed the road. We're still on red. The black one disappeared. It was red slash black. And now we come to a crossroads. So the camp we were at, camp number one, is a half mile the way we came. Backpack trail, both left and right. We're not doing that. Camp two, four miles to the left. I think we need to go this way. I'll check with all trails. But this whole trail is supposedly five miles, so that seems wrong. We'll go this way and see what happens. Woo, it's muddy in spots. So now we are on the blue and red trail. I'm gonna check all trails. Make sure we're good. Here's another way I've grown. When I see videos of people walking across bridges that size and smaller, I have a hard time breathing. And I just walked across that beautiful little bridge and no handrails. And I was absolutely fine. So just need to keep trucking and it will happen. This is a pretty easy trail. Very flat so far. Little hills. I mean, not super, super de duper easy like um, the Orange Trail at, oh, where is that? That Metro Park. Sugar Creek. But it's kind of what I expected. Now, I have been horseback riding here before, not with the park, at a place called Morgan's Stables. So, I think we did the two and a half hour ride. It is the closest thing to my favorite stables in um, Tennessee called Sugar Sugarland. I grew up going there since I was about, I've probably been horseback riding there since I was about 10. So minus the hills, well, mountains, um, the fields just pretty much the same with the trees. There's a lot of people on this trail. The parking lot was almost can't say almost full, over halfway full. Beautiful. You can see the lake from here. Don't know if you can see it. 
I guess we're on the beach trail. That looks like a beach. We're on blue red still. Hi, right now I'm sitting in Walmart's parking lot. The trail was pretty cool. It was pretty easy. After the trail, I went to, everyone calls it Ronnie, Rooney's, but I think it's Ronnie's or Ronie's, R-O-N-E-Y apostrophe F. They have really good fried chicken, roast beef, hamburgers. It's the old Roy Rogers that the man changed to Ronnie's or Rooney's when Roy Rogers around here closed. So that's another story in itself. We won't go there. So I hiked and then my phone died. I was probably two miles to go on the trail and my phone said it was down to 10%. So I decided to turn around and go back up to a road I crossed not long before that. And then I turned on my maps and hiked back to my car. It was less than a mile. So I, I felt that was the safest route to go. Um, the minute I got to my phone, it died. And then I plugged it in and the car wasn't even on. And my phone turned on and it was at 30 some percent. So something's going on. It probably was the cold, but I wasn't taking a lot of videos. I wasn't taking a lot of pictures. I didn't have a lot open. I need a new one. I just can't do it at this moment. Maybe in the next month. I need to know which one. I'm going between Samsung and Apple. Please put in the comments if you have any preference and why you have a preference to that phone. Um, so it was a good hike. It was cold. And I'm ready to go home. I don't know what to say. I was all ready to do all this talking and tell you so much. Um, just stayed very, very warm. My under layer, or my, my first layer of pants awesome so soft and warm leggings i got at the dollar tree and they fit snug as a bug i put my um sweatpants on over them my legs stayed warm bear paw socks my ultras love 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 them did it slide uh -huh, that's a lie i slid twice but it was very very muddy in spots wasn't as bad as um, Mount Airy when I did the stone steps loop trail, but um, yeah, the the trail runners all the way. My next hiking shoes will be trail runners. So I don't know what else to say. I'm tired, and when I tire, when I tire, when I'm tired, I tend to ramble. So I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. I totally appreciate you guys. Have a great day.